has a concept that I think is particularly important, and that's the solicitation safety net, uh, particularly with annual funds. And in the context of the encouragement that we've done for doing solicitations that, when possible, involve visits for those top donors uh, and doing those visits well, organizations are often put into a time crunch where you have an expectation uh, of completing a cycle. Maybe you're, you're finishing the calendar year, which for the donors are a tax year, and you're trying to get these visits in. Well, the visits may be the best solicitation of some of these high-end donors, uh, but what if they don't occur? In, in many contexts, it's not limited to the year, but particularly if you are on a calendar annual fund cycle, and if the person tends to expect a solicitation in those final couple of months of, of the year, there's a big drop off between a solicitation that occurs in the right way, in the best way, and no solicitation at all. Right. Because there are people who are waiting for that ask. The solicitation safety net, from my perspective, is, is when you decide on your strategy and your planning for the, for the solicitation, you have a backup. And, and that there's ample time to implement that backup. Uh, it's sort of like a safety cord on a parachute. If this one doesn't work, it's, it's not all or nothing because you've got a backup parachute. So, for example, if your executive director or school head is assigned to make these calls, uh, let's set a date of June of December 1, and those calls are either made or not. If they're not made, then A, they're either taken off of their plate and brought back to the development office that solicits them in another mm -hmm. way, or B, there's a conversation with plenty of time to spare that you can decide on another strategy. But it's very clear that there's a timeline, this will occur by this date, or we're implementing another strategy. Because there's too much at stake to simply, to, to, to simply have the solicitation not occur.